Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is now officially spring and Easter is around the corner. And so today I'm going to share what is in my kids' Easter baskets this year. If you're new here, I have five kids and they are 12, 11, nine, seven, and four. We usually keep Easter baskets pretty simple, pretty minimal. I feel like this year is even more minimal than some years and it really depends what we get for their Easter baskets depends partly on like finances what we want to spend for Easter gifts it also depends what what they are currently in need of or what they currently could use and so some years it's like oh they all need this right now let's go you know let's get them this for their Easter basket thinking of Easter gifts I actually had a little bit of a hard time I mean, I could have just bought a whole bunch of little random toys that will break soon, but I didn't really want to do that. And so we thought and figured out what we could get each of the kids. But like I said, it's pretty minimal. So they all got basically like the same one, two, three, four things in their Easter baskets. So I'll first show you their outfits. We do always give um, outfits in their Easter basket and then they wear those outfits to church on Sunday. So for the boys, I got the matching shirts. Oh, I know that we're getting so close to the end of matching. As our older kids get into more adult sizes, it might be trickier to match them. So I just take every opportunity I can to have them match. So these shirts are from Old Navy. For the boys, it's this blue shirt with like a white little pattern on it i might before easter i will go through their drawers and see like do they each have a pair of pants to wear with their shirts or not and i'll have to go um buy that if we need it but that was elijah's shirt and then same shirt for my youngest and same shirt no sorry that was my my middle child that i showed first this one's for my oldest my oldest two boys are actually fairly close in size but those are their shirts and then for the girls, I bought, for the first time I bought the girls dresses on Sheen. I have bought a couple dresses for myself there, but this was my first time buying dresses for the girls. So hopefully they work. Hopefully the sizing is accurate. So this one is for my seven-year-old. And then of course my 11-year-old, I got her the matching dress. Again, Easter, at least here where we are, you know, we live in Ontario and Easter often comes when it's still, it's spring, but it still feels like winter. This year, Easter's what, middle of April? The snow should all be gone. <laughs> the snow should all be gone by then. Um, but it is a little bit chilly usually. So usually what happens is Easter comes and I'm like, oh, they don't even have like their spring shoes out yet. Uh, making sure they have a cardigan to wear or a jean jacket in case. But those are the outfits. I kind of like that, the blue and the pink. So they each have something for um, Easter Sunday morning to wear to church. And then they all, they all love getting new books. And so we got each of them one new book. And I was recommended this series by Enid Blyton. The kids are in their rooms and I'm sorry if it sounds loud. I can just hear so much noise up on the, up on the ceiling above me here. Um, I don't think my kids have read any books by this author, but this is the first book in the Famous Five series. That's for our oldest son. And then actually for Simeon, our nine-year-old son, we got him another Enid Blyton book. I found both of these on Book Outlet. And this one is a different series. It's called the Original Adventure series. They love getting new books. My kids love to receive new books. If you watched my Amazon haul recently for Charity's birthday, we had got her the first book of this series, Secrets of the Manor. Uh, and so this is book two of the series. She kept telling me how much she loved that first book. So we went ahead and bought her the second one. And then for my two younger kids, instead of a book, I got each of them a little writing tablet. I've seen these. I've seen other kids that have these and play with them and they look really fun. You just write on the screen. It's almost like a chalkboard. It's not chalk, but you write on the screen and then press the little button and it just erases your picture. So I think that they will really enjoy that. Uh, we do, we live out of town. We do go on like a half hour drive often, multiple times a week. We're going on like a half hour drive to wherever we're going. And so I, that's kind of why I thought the kids would enjoy this. Like yesterday we drove out and Wesley was like, 
I forgot to bring something. And because our drives are half an hour, if they forget to bring something to play with, it is disappointing. Like it's a long time just to sit and look out the window. I know they exaggerate how bad it is, but something like this would be perfect for them to play with on our drives. Okay, the next thing we got then, I can't believe my kids are like just at this perfect age right now where they're all interested in the exact same thing. <laughs> but we got each of them from Walmart just a Lego minifigure from this set. It's like a, you open it up, you don't know which one you're gonna get, but one of those characters. We actually did this uh, for Valentine's Day too. We got each one of them one of these little Lego minifigures and they enjoyed that. So we're just doing the same thing for Easter. And then lastly is just a treat. We sometimes do get them too many treats in their Easter basket and um, we're not against treats for our kids chocolates and candies and stuff but we always do an easter egg hunt with the kids usually on saturday the saturday of easter weekend they always have an easter egg hunt at church sometimes their grandparents will give them easter easter treats so they have no lack of treats but i also felt like i needed to put one little treat in their easter basket so for the four big kids they each have a hubba bubba gum pack and then for Wesley, we just got him this little um, Tic Tac fruit, fruity flavored Tic Tac container. He really enjoys Tic Tacs. So that is it. I feel like it's a really, really minimal Easter basket, but meaningful things. And I think they will enjoy receiving these gifts. So let me know down in the comments below what you get your kids usually for Easter. I will say growing up, we always had an Easter Easter candy hunt, like an Easter egg hunt. Uh, we did that every year, but we never had an Easter basket. And even I think the first, because I grew up like that, I don't remember what Andrew did growing up. He may not have had an Easter basket either. I don't remember, but it was the first couple, two or three years when our kids were little, we didn't give them an Easter basket either because we had just grown up without doing one. Uh, but you know, it's nice to spoil your kids a little bit, give them a few things, but very simple Easter baskets this year. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Happy Easter to all of you. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.